There are three tips that I'm going to give you today. The first is to work on the basis that everybody you're going to deal with is actually already vulnerable or may become vulnerable at any one moment during the time that you are questioning them. Don't simply work on the basis that somebody has a vulnerability just because they've been given a label, a diagnosis. Somebody can become vulnerable in one second. Secondly, um, in regards to that point, also everybody's vulnerability is unique. And so just because you've dealt with somebody with dyslexia in the past doesn't mean that you know how to deal with somebody with dyslexia on this occasion. Just because you've dealt with somebody who's on the autism spectrum in the past doesn't mean that you know how to deal with the next person who may be on the autism spectrum. Second tip, you need to be prepared. Um, there are lots of ways to be prepared. You can utilise the SRA's resources, such as uh, this YouTube video or, or uh, other of the resources. You can use some of the free resources available on the internet, the Advocates Gateway Toolkits, uh, the Equal Treatment Bench Book. Uh, you can also, and I would encourage this particularly, go out and do some practical training courses. Advocacy is a skill. Uh, being able to question people who have vulnerability is a skill and what you need to be able to do is to practice and get feedback from it. Third and finally, what I would urge you to uh, remember and bear in mind is the SNOR acronym. This is a way to ask questions and is a, a, a simple reminder of if you're generally going to be asking appropriate questions. So SNOR stands for ask short, neutral, open, relevant and evidence based. So what do I mean by that? Well, short as opposed to long, multiple questions when you're asking about more than one fact at a time. Neutral as opposed to leading questions where you're telling the person the answer that you want. Open as opposed to closed questions where you're just asking for a yes or no answer. Relevant as opposed to irrelevant questions. And finally, evidence based as opposed to hypothetical questions. Because if you didn't realise already, if you ask a hypothetical question, you're going to get a hypothetical answer. Thank you.